So the 13 seconds impeccably observed. And away we go. Kickoff goes deep. It's just nudged. I thought that went sideways rather than forwards, to be fair. But we'll we'll stick with the referee. He's much closer than we are. And uh, as a result, it's going to be the first error of the game coming up against Wakefield Trinity. Wakefield just 25 metres away from their own line. Scooped up out of dummy half by Millward. It's coming down this left-hand side. Good movement. Lovely gap running. And they're off down the ground. It's a super run to the halfway line. Oh, she's still doing. It's magnificent work, this. Absolutely brilliant from Lisa Taylor. Up to the 20-metre line. Flips the pass out as well. And unfortunately, it goes to ground. But there's an example of just how dangerous they are when they get in a bit of space. Looking to apply the pressure again, though. Taking it left on this occasion. Ava Smith. Oh, they've worked it. They've got a huge gap. They can get the offload, and they do. And it will work its way out wide to the winger. She stepped back on the inside. She is going to finish, though. Oh, that's a great finish. A super run. And Eva Izumi opens the scoring down that left-hand side. Lovely cut in. Last tackle signal here by our match official. It'll come left. Lewis just had to reach back for it. She'll put a solid kick in for the corner. He's got chances. Oh, it just didn't sit up right there. Wait. Go one, that's fine. Picked up out of dummy half now by Key. Who feeds it in field, but it's been spilled and picked up by Ulton. They'll go back on the attack through Brook Long. Long tackled, about seven metres in from the touchline. It's going to go down the left now. Smith out to Casey. Ambitious pass. Oh, it's a super ball. They could be in again here. And he's that Azumi once more, I think it is. What a great pass from Caitlin there. Yeah, definitely. A lot of the Alton girls are just taking this ball and, and, and pushing it forward, which is fantastic to see. You know, the confidence just to push yourself against that defence is uh, great. Ooh. Westwood slipped the ball out. It went past Rose, and there's a penalty here because Rose has touched it now from an offside position. Key, long ball to Grady. Grady keeps it moving to Price. Price. Oh, that pass didn't look like it was on, but Harvey's motoring through the middle. She's deserved that. That's brilliant from Harvey. She just kept motoring through, and then she's left a whole wake of, of destruction. Oh, no. Rose. Rose, she'll dive over. Well, she was alert to the play, was Rose. And she's promised it a couple of times, and she stretched this advantage for Ulton Radex. Now Preston. Preston. Trying to get her nose through. So She's over the line. Up. Look, we've had 25 minutes, no issues. Can we get back to rugby? Yeah, exactly. There's Lady Priestley getting back to rugby, getting over the line. She's done it all on her own, driven through the heart of the defence. Will it be moved right? Goes for a drop goal. Well, a little bit too early, but the, it's not gone dead. This could be a try, yeah. It's, in fact, it's just been forced dead. Smart say she needs to straighten herself up a little bit and set the platform in the, in the middle of the field for the girls. Long will straighten it up. <laughs> That's a brilliant run. Teases a penalty as well. They should go for two here. They could clinch it on this. That's what the coaches are screaming from the touchline. They are going for the two, and that's what they're... No pressure, Caitlin. She can. The flags are raised. The celebrations commence. 